this is Gary, uh, the Hort instructor for Lanier Tech, and I'm going to show you a few things about our online Hort Science course that will help you get started with it. This is our spring 2019 course. This course is actually being taught by Michelle Spence. I'm helping her out here doing a little video, and I wanted to show you a few things here that will help you get going. Um, if you are brand new to Blackboard, this is the Blackboard homepage. Look over here on the left. Make sure you can see this column of, of information on the left. This is kind of like the heart of the whole uh, Blackboard system here. Uh, if you hit that arrow right there, that column disappears, okay? And I've had some students like, hey, we can't find this. Well, you just have to hit that arrow and it comes back up. And you'll notice over here, there's a lot of different things, a lot of different content areas. Um, if you're brand new to Blackboard, I highly recommend clicking on that. Let's see if I can get it to work up here on this board. Here we go. Uh, no, that's announcements. Let me go back. Right here, see that thing disappear. Okay, so you have, you have announcements. If you're new to Blackboard, there is an orientation right here. You can click on that and you'll see this file folder. Click on this and they've got a really good orientation on Blackboard. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, again, if you have questions, you can look on here. You, you can uh, give me an email, give Michelle an email, and we'll help you out there. The next thing, this is Lanier Tech Alerts, and you can sign up to Lanier Tech Alerts, and you will get uh, uh, timely texts about things going on at the school, especially school closing. If we have a school closing in, in bad weather, uh, you sign up there for that. It'll send you a text to your phone. If there's an emergency on campus, you will get a text as well. And then I'm going to skip down here, instructor contact information. Uh, You'll have different places here. You can email the instructor. You can ask the instructor something. Here's some information on contacting the instructor. Uh, a lot of good stuff in there. The next thing is the syllabus. Right here, we've got the syllabus on here in a PDF format that you can open up and look at. You notice that opened up in a new window, uh, and to get back, you either hit your browser button or you just go back to the Fort 1000 tab. I'm going to close out of these. All right, so that's the syllabus. Uh, textbooks. Here's where you find the information on the textbooks. There are two textbooks for this class. They're both very good textbooks. They don't cost you an arm and a leg. I've used them for a long time. Uh, one is Botany. Gardeners by Brian Capon, and he does a really, really good job of laying out botany in layman's terms. It's not like an over, overly scientific thing, but it really, really kind of puts it out there cut and dry. Uh, the next book, this is the fun book, you're going to laugh, but this is the botany coloring book. And believe it or not, there's a lot of learning that goes on in your head when you color things or when you draw things. And this book, uh, You'll, what you'll find in there are pages that are keyed to the different colors of the parts that you're coloring. I think I've got like eight or nine pages that you have to color. Get yourself a nice set of coloring pencils, treat yourself, and have some fun with that. Um, speaking of coloring book and assignments, I'll show you where you find those. Okay, you've got uh, the two textbooks. Then you have assignment and test calendars and due dates right here. So I clicked on that and you'll notice here's the, the botany coloring book assignments, instructions and due dates. Here's the instructions right here. You pretty much go, uh, there actually are coloring instructions in there. And be sure and stay between the lines. All right. And here are the due dates for your botany coloring uh, assignments. Pretty much all the tests and all these coloring assignments are due Monday night at midnight. Monday night at midnight. So please try to have them get them done by then. That gives you the whole weekend, you know, part of Monday. 
to get them done. If they're speaking a test, click back here. Under this folder, you'll see the test information and due dates. Uh, there is a test every week beginning February 4th. That's uh, 13 days from today, February 4th. So that gives you plenty of time to read uh, chapter one and also look at the videos. I'll show you that in a minute. But here, this is where you find the due dates for that. In addition to having the dates listed here, I also have them listed further down here. I'll show you that in just a second. All right. We'll go down here. Here is the academic calendar. Uh, this has got important dates for this campus. Uh, the first day of classes. Right now we're in the drop ad period. Um, last day to withdraw. Monday, April 2nd through Friday, April 6th is spring break. So we might have school that week. Anyway, that's where our academic calendar is located. All right, what else we got here? I've got a content area that includes horticultural learning resources, periodicals, journals, websites, and videos. Uh, I've got sections on food production, general horticulture, greenhouse, landscaping, landscape design, retail garden center. Got a lot of good information in those guys. Uh, all sorts of websites that you can explore. It's our resource area. Okay, now here is where the, uh, the meat of the course is. And it's a little bit further down. See where it says Unit 1 right there? Unit 1, Cells and Seeds. Please complete the Unit 1 test by midnight, February 4th. So I've got even another reminder right here telling you that that's when the test is due for that. We'll click on that. And bear with me just a minute. I'm going to change the view on this. Um, right, let me go back. Okay. So this is unit one. And there are 14 units for the semester. There are, there's a unit per week that you're going to be using here. And up here in the top... It'll give you the reading assignment, read pages 9 through 36 in Botany for Gardeners, uh, Unit 1, Cells and Seeds. This is your test, Unit 1 test. You'll set a big target right there. You click on that to take the test, okay? And I'll show you more on the test in a minute. Uh, right down here's your coloring assignment. Right there, and then uh, videos to watch. And you have questions on these videos. These videos help to reinforce the material in the book. Um, now, in fact, here's some videos here. Uh, here's an interesting one, why we're storing billions of seeds. Another one on germination. Here's a time lapse of an ac acorn to oak that's being filmed. assignment, what you'll do, a couple of ways you can do this. One is you can, uh, you can scan or take a picture and then upload it to your computer, or you can also scan a picture of it and email it to uh, uh, the email address that I'll have on here. I think it's going to be mspence at lineartech.edu. Um, that's one way to do it. Most, most students do just take a picture with their, with their phone and their camera and they email it to me on the camera. Um, Alright, so as you can see over here, we've got, we've got 14 required units. I have an extra unit right here on the horticulture industry uh, about careers and jobs, and I'll talk about that as the semester goes on. Uh, you've got a unit on roots and shoots, cells and seeds, stems, uh, all kind of different things right here. Now the book, the Botany for Gardeners book, we're using it for units 1 through 11. After that, uh, soils, fertilizer, and propagation, 
we actually have, aren't use, not using the book for that, but I've got, I've got handouts that are in here, uh, reading soils from TDL, the PD, they're all in PDF formats or it's a website, things like that. And again, here's the test for that. I've got good videos on soils that you can find right there. One other thing I want to tell you, show you, is I'll go back to assignment and calendars. You can print this off. This is a Hort 1000 spring uh, assignment calendar, and it's, it's January 22nd to February 4th. It lays out the assignments that you have here, like read chapter one in Botany for Gardeners, the, the unit one test, and the coloring assignment. We do have some discussion boards. Uh, we're gonna be changing those around from the next week. Your first discussion board is next week, and it is in unit two. Let me see if I can show you that one. What is horticulture? It's just kind of, in your own words, actually it's tell us about yourself. Tell, tell us uh, a little bit about yourself if you're involved in horticulture, if you're interested in it. So that's on week two. Later on in the semester, we're going to have a discussion board that's tied to a, uh, a field trip, a field trip that you take on your own. And it's going to be to a nursery or to a, uh, a greenhouse. We're going to come up with some good specific instructions for you this week. But we're not going to do that until later in the semester when it warms up, because right now there's not a lot to look at. Anyway, that's uh, my introductory video, and I'm going to try, we're going to try to do one of these a week and send them in the announcements. Like, if you have any questions at all, do not hesitate to email. Let me know if you're having an issue. Uh, issues come up, sometimes a test doesn't grade right. Speaking of tests, one more thing. Um, when you're taking the test, all right, here's your, your test right here. Okay. I want you to do well in these tests. I look at tests as a learning exercise. Uh, so you can save it and you can resume it later. I know you might be taking a test and something happens, you get pulled away. Um, you can also take two, take it two times, okay? And if you take it two times, we average the grade out between the two. In other words, if you make an 80 on it the first time and a 90 the second, you get 85. If you make a 90 the first time and a 70 the second time, well then you get, I think, an 80. Um, and it has the due date on there. I do not have, I, it's, I do not have a timer on it. So it's fairly easy. There shouldn't be any reason you shouldn't take these or, or mess them up. Uh, however, having said that, every now and then, you know, the miracle of the internet is that it, it screws up sometimes and you may get, uh, have a test that doesn't say, just let me know. Anyway, that's it. Thanks.